What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am Jess and you're watching Keto Rewind. Today is a what, day six of the Keto Rewind Clean 30 Challenge plus alternate day fasting. Um, but I gotta have a little bit of some big news here to share with you. So I am going to be finishing day six and seven because I already have the content filmed. <laughs> It'll be on today's video. So today will basically really be six and seven. Um, but as for week two and all the rest of the Keto Rewind Clean 30 Challenge, I'm going to have to pause it right now or suspend it because we have COVID. <laughs> so I re mentioned a couple of days ago that I went to get tested. Didn't think it would be anything um, just out of precaution. So I coach softball for one of my daughters, the, the one that has COVID right now. Um, but we had a player come to practice with COVID, unfortunately, you know, that, that's how it goes. Um, and basically, out of precaution, last week I went and got tested. I was negative at the time of the test, but yesterday, my daughter's positive, I'm positive. <laughs> so there's two of the four of us right now um, with it. So I am not sure how things are going to be going. I have to bring her to the pediatrician today. Um, I, I have to be schooling them all week, <laughs> you know, so I don't know what, I like schooling from home because they can't go to school with that. Um, we do in-person learning in Texas, so when you have COVID, you have to stay home and you coordinate with your teacher. Um, so I'll be doing that this week. Um, and also, I don't know how I'm going to be faring and, you know, just the unknown. So I hope you guys understand. I'm going to basically step away for some time here and figure out what's going on with my family but i will continue this challenge it'll probably just be next week i mean next month sometime in september we'll do week two um so but i think i've given you a good solid week of things to start from or to you know be inspired with um so i'm hoping that's the case here but um and then that'll give me some time to get things together here at home and get back on the mend but so I'm going to keep opinions and all that separate from this because I don't want to, I don't want to say anything. I don't want my channel getting, you know, knocked or something for giving my opinion. So for right now, I'll just leave it at this. Not concerned with my kids, um, but me, a lot of you know, I have congestive heart failure. That's a genetic heart defect I was born with. I'm not, it's the unknown there. I feel fine. I expect where my gut feeling says I'll be fine, but hey, you never know. So with all that unknown, that's why I'm taking a step away. It, any, you know, things can happen that quickly or, you know, lately. So anyways, um, I'm going to kick off day six and seven. We'll walk you through it. I'm not going to do macros. I'm just going to show you the meals because um, I have to bring my kid to the doctor. So. <laughs> So anyways, wish us luck. I hope you all stay safe and I will probably be checking back in on Monday for my weekly update as long as things are still okay. Um, and yeah, so that's it. It is what it is, right? <laughs> but I'm going to be taking vitamin D3 plus K2, lots of it, zinc, um, vitamin C, and um, Greek yogurt, lots of Greek yogurt. So that's my like, you know, that's what I'm going to be taking for my own personal support um, of my immune system. And we'll see what happens. But, but hey, it is what it is. So anyways, let's jump into the rest of the video. Okay, so it is a PSMF day or my fasting day. So we're going to start off a slightly variation from what I put on the, the menu. I'm going to do cinnamon rolls, but it's made with the same ingredients. I'm just going to add a little bulk of sweet to sweeten it up. Um, two tablespoons to the egg whites. I will post this recipe down below. Um, I added a little butter with cinnamon and brown sugar, and I stuffed each of the cinnamon buns with it. And there is the finished product of delicious protein-sparing cinnamon rolls. And here's me pulling one of them apart so you get the action shot. I, I kid you not, they're so delicious. Ooh, it's already dripping. Look at that. All that oozy goodness. All right, so lunch is um, eight ounces of sliced turkey, and I did one ounce of cheddar cheese um, just to make it easy. I My cucumber went bad, so we're going to improvise. And the coffee that I do on my PSMF days is using the Equip Collagen, not Perfect Keto. Uh, on to dinner, we're going to use the same sugar-free spice rub. Um, use dry rubs. It's a great way to save and conserve 
um, carbs. So, uh, and give you lots of flavor. So I already roasted broccoli this week and I didn't want to make this video tedious. So I just squirted some barbecue sauce and that was it. On to Sunday, which will be tomorrow for you or day seven. Um, I had a salad that has kale, romaine, Parmesan cheese, um, green peppers, broccoli, cabbage, and egg white or hard boiled eggs. Um, with a with a ranch dressing make sure you measure and account for your dressing and also I had uh, pesto chicken breast on the salad so the next thing we have is the keto coffee to not make it too redundant I'm using the perfect keto unflavored collagen in my coffee and heavy cream today so on to dinner I'm going to spray the pan with avocado oil. I'm making uh, a meatloaf using two pounds of turkey breast. I'm going to add to that a half cup of almond flour, a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese, and all the spices, which is Italian seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, salt, and pepper. Um, I'll put the link to that down below. And because I'm doing two pounds of ground turkey, I'm going to um, use two eggs. So I'm going to crack both eggs in there and use my hands, mix it so everything's incorporated. And then we're going to transfer the meatloaf mixture to the meatloaf pan. Um, and I've, I, uh, I like to top my meatloaf with ketchup, like a sugar-free ketchup or sometimes tomato paste. But for convenience today, we're going to use, um, we're going to use a sugar-free ketchup. So this is the one I'm using. It was a quarter cup for the whole recipe. So the macros are actually pretty minimal. Spread it on top. It just gives it that little extra flavor for the top. Um, and it's really good. So put it in the oven at 375 for about 45 minutes ish. And we're doing garlic green beans that I'm going to, going to steam using canned, but steamed will work or fresh, um, but pop them in the microwave. And um, there is the finished product. And I'm just adding garlic, salt, and pepper to the green beans once they come out of the um, microwave. So finished product, the meatloaf is, is, I think it was eight ounces. So it looks small, but it's heavy. So. <laughs> Alrighty, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will keep you posted at what's going on and uh, go be safe, go be great. And you can do this. <laughs> and now more than ever, use the ketogenic lifestyle with the intermittent fasting to take charge of your health so that when things like this happen, you are in the best position for success. So that's all I got, folks. I'm Jess, and we'll see you at the next one. Bye-bye. You're watching Keto Rewind. <laughs>